Hey guys, it's Drew from Guitar Brothers Company, and today I'm going to teach you Bullets by Need to Breathe. This song is in the key of D minor, and uh, for our tone we're going to have a, tele a Stratocaster on the, uh, on the second position, so it's this pickup and this pickup, and uh, for our pedals we're going to cut down here. Alright, so now that we have our tone for this song, we're going to go into how to play it. It's a pretty simple song. It has an opening riff that you're going to play a couple times, and then you're going to play it again later in an interlude. Um, and then it just has some very simple double stop chords. And later on, there's a cool part we get to play up here on our drop D E string. Our opening riff is going to start out on the 13th fret of the B string, and we're going to bend a whole fret up to the 15th fret, so... So you're going to bend up, play the string again. So we're going to bend up, play again, play on our, you know, not bended 13th fret, and then walk down from the 14th to the 12th fret on the G string. So all together. Then we're going to bend a whole step on the 12th fret of our G string. So. And then. That's the 10th fret, the 12th fret, and the 10th fret again of, on our G string. So all together. Then we're going to play the 12th fret on our D string. Then, we're going, then we get into the double stops, which is fun. We are going to bar the... We're going to bar the 10th fret on our D and G strings. Then hammer on to the 12th fret of our D and G strings. So, so all together. And the 12th fret, then the hammer ons. Then we're going to hit the 12th fret with those double stops. Then we're going to walk down. We're going to borrow the 12th fret of our A and D strings. And then the 10th fret. So. Sometimes when he plays this opening riff, he's going to play a variation. It's pretty tricky, so it's it's totally optional. You don't hear it very much in the song. Um, but after you bend up, you're gonna come back down, and then back up again, and then down again. So and so on. Uh, like I said, he only plays it sometimes, and it's it's quiet, so you don't have to. So you're gonna play that riff twice, and then you're going to go into the verse of the song which is um, our double stop chords here. So it's going to be uh, straight quarter notes the whole time through. You're going to start here on this D chord, which is, um, you're going to borrow the 10th fret on your, uh, your G and your B strings. You're going to play that four times. And then you're going to come down to an A chord, which is uh, the 12th fret on your A and D strings. And then to a G chord, which is um, the the... 10th fret on your A and D strings. So that's... And you play that twice through. Then you're going to go into the chorus, which is actually the same chords in the same pattern, but it starts in a different place. It's going to start here on this A chord, which is the 12th, and, the 12th fret of the A and D strings. So. times, and then you're going to go back into your opening riff for an interlude, and then uh, back into the chorus. Now when you get into the second chorus, here's this other part we're going to teach you. Uh, you you're still playing the double stops, but if you have a second guitar, or you want to re-record, or you just want to have some fun, then you go into this, this riff we found. Now for this second uh, chorus riff, what you're going to do is you're going to come back down to your, your bridge pickup. If you have a humbucker, that's great, because it gets a fatter tone, which works better with your fuzz. 
then we're going to turn on our fuzz pedal, which is, for us, a tube screen we turned all the way up, but it's wired funny, so you get a really, uh, you get a really heavy distortion sound. So now for this riff, we're going to start on the fifth fret of what would normally be our E string, but we've tuned it down to a D since we're in drop D. And we're going to bend it up a whole step, and then play it back on the fifth fret, and play the third fret, and open. So our riff is. So just some tips for playing that riff. Um, since it's in drop D, your string is going to be a whole lot looser. Um, so you're, if you have a lighter gauge strings, you're going to want to play them more gently, and if, especially if your action is really low, because they might buzz out and hit the frets when you play some of the notes. So just, just keep that in mind. But other than that, um, it's a really simple riff, and it's just fun. Later on in the song, there is a slide um, guitar solo. Uh, I don't know it at the moment, but if you want me to teach it, I will learn it and teach it to you. Just you know, leave comments in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you on that. So that was Bullets by Need to Breathe. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, uh, leave comments down below so we can read those. If you like this video, uh, subscribe for more. We're going to upload more just like this real soon. Um, see you next time. But other than that, you should be good. I licked my lip way too much in that. I was like... That's going in the video. <laughs> no!